you know economics you would be you know doing some part time job or giving time to your own business doing some recreational work but you choose to study it means you give up some other options as well similarly if i give you precise example it means family income spending decisions between vacations child education clothing saving right okay this year we didn't go for vacations my parents have a lot of money if they keep their you know they're keeping their jobs with them they have a lot of money okay how they spend they save or they spend on clothing or some you know in house online activities maybe they bought a playstation ps4 or or 6 for the children to stay home right so that depends so we also call this principle one there is no such a thing as a free lunch why because there is not only one option always there are more than one options so making decisions require trading off one goal against another so can you give me another example for that anyone people face trade offs anyone no okay then let's go towards your book example so we have classical trade offs guns versus butter this is economic term so guns mean that we have a more national budget for defense purposes you know you were buying more tanks missiles ammunition this this kind of stuff to defend our ter territorial claim what is butter means you are spending more on consumer goods and raise your country's living standards so i have also a very nice short video of guns versus butter i would be showing this in our next uh, slide so the second one is clean environment versus high level of goods what does it mean why there is a trade off so if we if a country make clean environment products it means more cost right they need to find more green energies less usage of coal and fossil oils to protect the environment right but what happen if you value the environment your cost going to rise and then would your sales going to go up no oh. right similarly if you produce high level of goods which means you are producing you know large machineries and high level of goods then you must need energies from coal fossil fuels you would be polluting the environment no you need to find out the balance between that like china previously the pollution in china if you see the data i saw the data so sometimes it's really hard to even breathe in shanghai but now the things are getting changed because china has put a lot of resources on clean energy reusable energy solar energy wind energy and etc right but previously they were not caring all this stuff so they would be just polluting and look at previous data many deaths due to lung cancers you know breathing problems so much other stuff so let's see a very short video regarding guns versus butter here we go
Right, so you have seen the word opportunity cost in our previous video, right? Now let's talk about it. So here we start our principle number two, which is the cost of something is what you give up to get it. In our principle one, we talk about the choice, right? And now we're talking about the cost of that choice. So the CMs require comparing cost and benefits of alternatives or choices. So whether to go to college or, you know, uh, whether to go to college, you can consider the costs. So what are those costs? Tuition fee, books, accommodation, food cost, and the biggest one is the time. So now you see the cost here. Whether to go to study or go out on a date, which one is costly? whether to go to the class or sleep, which one is costly? What should I do? And why you choose to study? Because you know that the cost of class is gonna be huge. So I should better forego sleep or a date. I should attend the lecture because the cost of lecture is for me is higher, right? So that is our principle number two. So that cost that you forego, maybe, Attending this lecture, you are paying 200 yuan or 300 yuan. And if you go out on a date, maybe you spend this 100 yuan. So that option that you forego, that is called opportunity cost. Or maybe the sleep, the cost of sleep is because you attended lecture. So the option that you forego or give up, that cost is called opportunity cost. So we have the definition here, that is, the opportunity cost of an item is the cost what you pay to obtain that item. Right? Any question? Okay, so you know this guy? Unfortunately, he died. Very good player. So Kobe Bryant, he chooses to skip the college and go straight from high school to the pros where he has earned millions of dollars. What are the benefits and what are the costs? Right? The benefit, million dollar, worldwide reputation. And the cost, opportunity cost, is that he dropped his education. Right? So, right. yeah, sure. Any question? No? Okay. Number three, rational people think at margin. So first of all, we need to define what is rational and what is irrational. Rational mean that you go through some systematic process. For example, I want to buy a car. I have 20 million. I gather alternatives or choices. Okay, I have Mercedes, I have Toyota, I have Ford, I have Kia Ford, I have Kia, I have Hyundai, right? These five companies, for example, there are many companies, but for example, for me, uh, if I only just now recall only just five. So what is rationality? I go through a systematic process. First of all, I saw, I sort out the companies. 
which models I need to buy. In 20 million, I can buy, for example, SUVs. So these companies SUVs. What you know? What are the features? Step four. Then I compare the space. You know, all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, this kind of stuff. And then I purchase one SUV because I go through some systematic process. We call this rationality. And what is irrationality? I have 20 million and I just straight go to Mercedes. I buy SUV, come back. So that is a rational behavior? No, that is not. Why? Because I didn't gather any information, not the company, you know, I didn't compare any cost and that's it. So my question is, do you think people are rational? Guys, please participate. Depends on the situation. Exactly, Isaac. Right? Because sometimes people exert rational behavior and sometimes people exert irrational behavior. For example, buying a pen, simple ball pen or pencil, lead pencil. You go to the place, you don't ask how many manufacturers, you know, they manufacture this pencil, right? And what are the cost and all the stuff? You, because that is insane, right? It's $2 or maybe $1 stuff. But if you compare $20 million, then you can say, look, no, I need to think about that. It's a huge money. So when big money or big price involve, it means people behave rationally. When small thing, 